Hello, YouTube. It's me, John Avenger, once again, and I'm back finally from after doing all that Black uh, Panther reaction videos and my uh, spoiler-free review. I'm glad you guys have been watching that those videos. Thanks very much. Now we're getting back to movies with colors in the title. This is another movie with the color black, but it's a 1957 black and white uh, monster movie called The Black Scorpion. Yes. I saw this movie when I was a kid, so I wanted to review it, and now's as good a time as any to review a movie with the color in it, so that is a black and white movie, and it's all, it's uh, special effects that are done by the great, late Willis O'Brien. If that name doesn't ring a bell, he's basically the guy that did the stop motion animation for the original King Kong, so he was actually the predecessor to Ray Harryhausen and Jim Danforth, a lot of old school uh, stop motion animation uh, special effects guys. They did this way before computers were even invented. So I really think that the effects in this movie definitely hold up. I know n none of you guys have probably heard of this movie. It's basically a bunch of giant scorpions attacking Mexico City. And a white man, his Mexican uh, fr a geologist friend, and uh, a beautiful woman named Mara Corday, who, who plays uh, Teresa Alvarez, uh, have to stop them from, you know, wrecking uh, havoc on the town. And basically, it's a, you know, most of the cast, uh, besides uh, Richard Denning, who plays uh, Hank Scott and, and Mara Corday, most of the rest of the cast is a bunch of unknown Mexican actors and, you know, uh, people that you never heard of. But it is a fun B-movie from back in the 1950s. There were a lot of films like this. You had The Monster That Conquered the World. You had It the Terror from Beyond Space. You had uh, the Deadly Mantis. You had Attack of the Crab Monsters. There were a lot of monster movies in the 50s. And uh, they were off the heels of the 50s, you know, nuclear, uh, nu nuclear web, uh, whatchamacallit, radiation, uh, you know, giant creature uh, uh, genre, subgenre, if you will, of, you know, giant creatures becoming huge because of nuclear testing. And it started really with uh, the, the Beast of 20,000 Fathoms, and then it got to this. And uh, this film is all practical effects. You have stop motion uh, scorpions. When they do close ups, it's puppeteering. It looks really well done for the time. When they attack people, they grab them or they sting them. They, it looks really good. I think it, you know the the creatures go, Rawr! yeah, they roar, which you know scorpions don't do. But it's a movie, so I let it go. Um, you also have a giant spider in the movie later in the film when they go into the caves to uh, check out for scorpions, and there's also a, a giant worm. And they take pictures of it. And uh, also, uh, the, the the biggest scorpion has like a, an armor on it. And their weak spot is not their not the outside of their body, but they're right here in the throat. They have like a, a skin that's unprotected by their shells. And uh, it's a really good movie from back in the day. Like, I watched this a lot when I was a kid, an older kid. And I really enjoyed it. And I wanted to watch it uh, on, you know... Mystery Science Theater ripped on it, but it's still a fun movie. I don't think it's a terrible movie. I've definitely seen worse. It's short. It's like about 80 or 90 minutes long. It's not very long. And uh, the, the the two leads have good chemistry, Richard Denning and Mara Corday. Mara Corday is beautiful. Of course, I liked her from Tarantula and uh, The Giant Claw and a bunch of other stuff. She's really good, really beautiful, and adds uh, you know some nice feminine touch. Not feminism, but feminine touch to this uh, monster movie. She's brave. She's not a pussy. And, and you know, when they kiss, it, it, you actually feel it. They have really good chemistry. Uh, there's a little boy in the movie named Juanito that he gets into trouble a lot. He sneaks into the into a car with, with Hank and the, and the gang when they're looking for the scorpions. Uh, he, his dog is like, he wants to warn them that the scorpions are heading to their house and wrecking havoc. And he uh, gets chased by one of the spider, the spider in the movie. And uh, he kind of disappears near the end because, you know, he's a kid actor, so he wasn't in the film that much. He looks like a Mexican Jim Carrey. Uh, the ending of the film, you know, the giant scorpion, one is left. And spoiler alert, if you care to see this movie, uh, it wrecks havoc on the town. And uh, it, they have to, like, use a, like a, a, a freaking, like, weapon that shoots an electrical current into its throat so they can die and, and there'll be no more scorpions. But this is a fun movie. Is are there flaws? Yeah, the the not the acting is not Oscar worthy. I'll tell you that much. But it's fun if you're willing to shut off your brain and see a monster movie with a bunch of giant scorpions, uh, with stop motion effects that are just as good as the original King Kong. 
go ahead and watch it. It's not a bad movie. Granted, this is nowhere near the quality of Black Panther, but it is a fun movie. And I would recommend it. I definitely have to get this on DVD because I don't own this movie. I had it on VHS for many years. And uh, I think it's a good movie. And if you watch it, they, there's there's plenty of places to watch it online. And they have DVDs of it on Amazon. So it's not hard to find. And uh, it's worth your time. And if you want to see something different after you've seen Black Panther, see The Black Scorpion. It's, it's the 1950s version. There's another movie called Black Scorpion from 95 that's completely different. It's a superhero film. This is a monster movie and back in the 50s where, you know, it was a simpler time. Tickets were cheaper, movies were cheaper, and uh, movies didn't have to be art house films to be good. And uh, like I said, no CGI. It's all real practical effects scorpions. And Willis O'Brien did a good job with the animation and... Uh, the others that went, uh, that followed in his footsteps, like Carrie Housen and Jim Danforth and the guys who did Robocop and Terminator, they really did some really good stop motion. I, I don't think it looks like shit. It looks way better than bad CGI faces in Rogue One or some bad CGI in like R.I.P.D. or like the Termi like Terminator Genesis or freaking, you know, it's just movies that have horrible CGI. Even creature effects like in Clash of the Titans or Remake. No, that looks awful. It's just like they have giant scorpions there, and these look better than that. I can easily say that without question. So, yeah, I really like the effects of the movie. The film is well paced. Uh, it's, you know, Mexican actors are not the best. They have a lot of accents and not a place I would go to for vacation. But hey, if you're going to destroy a city in, in, with giant bugs or uh, arachnids or whatever, a scorpion can get the job done. And it certainly does. I mean, these things wreck trains and everything they're just crazy but and uh you know it's a fun movie watch it for yourselves i hope you uh, give it a shot thanks for watching guys take care and i'll see you guys in the next review